very first time that he ever put on a helmet and shoulder pads. No one could block Aaron. No one. There is Aaron Donald. And he's going to be sacked. And that is Aaron Donald. Wow. Donald down again. Big hit and he's sacked. This kid is a flat out boss. Yeah, we're not sure who has it. Just tackled the entire backfield. Is it true that uh, it's your coaching is the secret for Aaron Donald? <laughs> <laughs> I wish I could take credit for that. No, it's, it's been unbelievable. Though. The kid is a natural. He is. He loves the game of football and he loves competition. And he goes from the start to the end. You're the most active sack artist in college football right now. You ever think about things like that? I try not to. I just try to go out there and play football. But it's an honor to even be, be talked about. And, just to have the success I'm having, I'm, I'm, I'm happy about it, but at the same time, I'm just trying to go out there and do my job. Aaron Donald has, has been a <laughs> uh, one-man wrecking crew. 97's a heck of a player. He created a, a lot of havoc for us. He's got that motor that never quits. He's always going hard. He's not a huge tall guy, but constantly moving, slanting, stunting. You have a very powerful guy, but he's also extremely quick at the point of attack. We had a hard time picking him up. He's really quick. Gets in double teams. Guys cutting him. He can get slither his body. He uses a lot of different techniques to get into the backfield. He's going to run at him, but then he'll slither through a double team, run away from him, he'll cut him off, and he knocks you into the tail. Just great instincts for the game. He makes a living at the line of scrimmage, but he does his best work behind the line of scrimmage. He's the key to them up front, there's no doubt. Number 97 was coming. Big physical defensive force. He will be somebody that will have the game plan and find a way to slow down. This time he's able to get a single block, and look, he beats it until they hold him at the end. I mean, they're doing everything they can to slow him down. That's a clear hold. He started playing eighth grade football. Guys were doubling and triple teaming him. And it was kind of sad to see at seventh, eighth grade guys doubling and triple teaming him, but that was the only way that you were going to be able to block that kid. And it looks that way now. They know that they have got to be able to account for Aaron Donald. I mean, not only a double team, but how about a face mask? So you play with a chip on your shoulder. You look like you're out to prove something. I just go out there and try to play fast. I know there's a lot of people that's going to doubt me because my size. I'm not the, the tallest guy. But I just go out there and play football, trying to do what I can do to help my team to win. Let's go, dude! So he just wants to be the best and prove to guys that where they thought that he was short, that would be his lack. He makes up with heart and desire. Hey. Yeah. Pretty hot. You guys play pranks on each other? Yeah, all the time. He, he takes my helmet all the time, and there's not much I can really do about it. So I just have to wait it out and see if I can fight back. Just a great effort by these young men and this entire coaching staff here at Pittsburgh. You deserve this, right? Have you ever seen a work ethic like his, especially for a defensive tackle? No, I mean, especially just he pays attention to detail. So he'll go in and work out, and then he'll kind of veer off by himself and go into the training room and do extra shoulder stuff and all that. And it's just rare to see nowadays. When he comes back from a game, he doesn't go home. He goes into the film room and watches film for the next week. Aaron Donald is about being a perfectionist in everything that he does. He is the first one to everything. He is always there wanting to do it first and the best. I mean, he's just an unbelievable person off the field, and he's just so humble and works harder than anyone I've ever met. If you could bottom line Aaron Donald, what would you say? Bottom line is I'd love to have him every year. Just a hometown kid that's doing good. I'm extremely proud of Aaron. Extremely proud.